Since I can remember, I've been a boxing fan. There's just something about watching two competitors in a ring, squaring off one-on-one, -on -one, my skill versus your skill, my training versus your training, my blood versus your blood, and so the bell rings or you can't get up anymore. As a kid, that is exciting, that is thrilling. To watch these specimens, these physical specimens who were just jacked to the gills competing against one another inspired me. It made me think, hey, if I train hard enough, maybe I could be as good as Iron Mike. Now, the truth of the matter is that was probably never going to happen, but I digress. The fact is I've been a boxing fan, so I've been a boxing video game fan my whole life life. I love fighting games. I love boxing games. I love MMA games. Fight some some of my some of the best memories of my childhood come from playing Fight Night with my friends. I loved Fight Night. The idea of pitting some of the greatest fighters against some of the greatest fighters of today was enthralling to me and I absolutely loved it. The gameplay was phenomenal too. Fight Night round 4 that's some of the best boxing gameplay that's ever been, if not the best boxing gameplay that's ever been. So for a modern boxing game to, to come out, it's going to have to compete with Fight Night. Now, all of that leads me to say that Undisputed, the most recent contender for the boxing title and the first boxing game, the first true boxing game that we've had in a long time, it's promising. Now hear me out, the game is still in early release, so it's impossible to say what direction this game is going to go. But right now what I can tell you is that Undisputed is very promising. Immediately stepping into the ring, and I played with the controller, the combat feels fluid. It feels like Fight Night. This game, you can tell that the, the developers of this game were at the very least inspired by Fight Night. And it really shows. Stepping into the ring, using the sticks to throw punches, which is what I did. You can use buttons, but I chose to use sticks. The fighting felt fluid. The combat felt good. There were a couple of times when I was knocked out, not having taken much damage, but somehow just flash knocked out randomly. And there were some times when my blocks simply weren't blocking. Like, my fighter was taking a lot of damage from blocked punches. But the truth is... That, that happens in boxing. That's the nature of the sport. I mean, you can throw your hands up and block punches all the time, but every now and then one of those punches is going to get through your blocks. So what I can't tell is if it's bad game design or bugs that just need to be ironed out. And again, the game is an early release, so let's give them the benefit of the doubt here. Or if that's just the sport that the game is trying to emulate. It really could go either way. And honestly... That's fine, because I mentioned this, and I'll mention it again and again. The game is an early release. Now, the game looks phenomenal. I mean, you can see on the screen right now, the graphics are great. The fighters look pretty good. The the presentation is awesome. Um, I've heard there's going to be different types of presentation, depending on um, what arena you're fighting in and what 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 um, you know conference you are, whether you're WBC or, or you know whatever you want to call it. Um, that's going to impact the presentation of the game. But right now, just early release, the presentation of the game looks pretty darn good. It, it mimics a lot of what you would see on television when you're watching a fight. And again, no complaints so far in this early release version of the game. Now, right now, the only thing that's available for the game is quick play, online play, and a um, title or a prize fight mode where really you're just trying to get a high score in your fights and you're there's a leaderboard you're competing with other people i tried that mode out i, I, I tried everything but online play because i'm just not good enough at the game to play online i'll openly admit that i would get owned uh, if i tried to play online but again the modes are fun i just i think ultimately what's going to decide the fate of this game because right now early on i would say it's got a lot of promise but what's going to decide the fate of this game? What does the career mode look like, which is not available at the time of, of this video's release? And what does the create a fighter mode look like? How is the creator fighter suite? Is it going to be laid out really well? Are you going to have a ton of options? Are we going to be able to create a lot of fighters that aren't in the game? Because I will say there are an okay amount of fighters in this game. But the roster is inflated because multiple fighters appear in multiple weight classes. So... You see a lot of the same fighter over and over and over again, just fighting at different weights. 
I would like to see the roster expanded. I know that's expensive, but I would like to see that. Um, I would also like to see a very robust creative suite, as I mentioned before, and a very solid career mode. If this game comes packaged with a with a very solid career mode, um, something that you could really sink your teeth in, and a robust creative fighter suite, this game's a no-brainer. Because the gameplay is good enough that at the $30 price tag, this game could very well be the next NFL 2K5. In a sense that it's coming in well under what you would pay for an EA sports game. It's giving you a pretty good combat system. It's giving you fun gameplay. And if it gives you a robust career mode, well, that is a ton of value for a $30 price tag. Listen, Undisputed has promise. Is it going to be the Undisputed champion of the world? Only time will tell. We will see when the full release of the game comes out. But I will say, this one is worth keeping on your radar at the very least. If you like this video, please share, subscribe, and comment below. Have you played the early release of this game? What do you think? Are you going to get it on console? Are you going to get it on PC? What are your plans with the game? And did you like Fight Night Round 4? Or was that the best Fight Night in your opinion? Let me know in the comments section below. Would love to have a conversation with you. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys on the next one.